Hey guys, what's up? Bartimus here. I thought it was time I did another video on Treacherous Bilkies because really it's come a long way since my earlier video that I did a couple of weeks back. The first thing you'll notice is that those red bars have gone. They're only there at the top. And I figured out um, the format of the templates that the developers of Treacherous Tower actually use and the red is simply it's like a guide you have all of those different stages you bring them in and the, the red stage is actually not going to be included in your level but it gives you an idea of where the beginning of the next level is going to be so that you are able to leave enough room above so that you don't intrude into the next level because obviously your level gets inserted um, and, and there'll be another level above it or below it and you know it needs to be the levels all need to fit in nicely and they need to play nicely together that's what the red bars were for what do we have since the last time I play this game well we've got a lot and the first thing you'll notice is that there is a menu well not a menu but a map on the side of the screen here. I'm using a starter GUI for that. Screen GUI and we've got these different segments just like the real game. There is a bar that shows you a profile of all of the different levels from one to six, what color they are. In addition though to showing you the color of the level it gives you a count of how many seconds it will take before that level is refreshed and that's really important because a level is chosen at random every minute and it says this level will be refreshed in so many seconds and when the level gets refreshed it literally just gets taken out of the map and replaced by a new level um, there's a chance that it might be the same level but is there's a much greater chance that it won't be and so if you're standing on a solid block and it gets replaced then you'll fall um, sometimes to your death because you'll land on a kill brick other times you'll just land on the ground and you'll be incredibly frustrated you notice that there's a label there that just says label is restart tower zero of three so that's that count of how many times the tower has been beaten by players in the server at any point in time i have also removed that end portal that i put down the bottom that was really more for testing purposes than anything else. Now that we're at the stage where, you know, wins kind of count, it feels like by putting this on the screen, it feels like wins count now. So I don't really want to let people cheat too much. Uh, so we've now just got the one end portal, which is this guy up here. And the other thing you'll notice, by the way, is too, is that I've taken away all of the trusses. I thought the trusses needed to be there. Um, turns out the truss is actually part of the level that you insert. Um, that may not be the way actual Treacherous Tower does it, but it's certainly the way Treacherous Bilkies does it. So the other thing you'll notice uh, is that we've got this players can't collide. That's just, it simply turns off collisions between players because that would really, really hack me off if I was kind of gently tiptoeing along a level and some player came behind and knocked me and pushed me off and I fell to my death. That would really hack me off. So I've changed it so that you can't collide with other players. In terms of scripting, other than that, um, sure, there will be a lot of change that I've made. But really, I think the best way to show you what this game's become, it's going to be to fire it up, and we're going to do that shortly. Uh, one last thing, though, before we do. Here in server storage, we've got eight different items. These are all different levels now. Uh, level one is that one with the wedge. Remember the one we had, which is the, the demo one. Uh, level two is the sphere. Again, it, it's not actually possible to solve that level. They were just there. I really should just remove them, but um, yeah, I'll get around to that at some stage. But level three through to level eight are actual maps. They are challenging maps that you have to solve. Here we are in the game. So you'll notice I've still got these colored blocks here showing you 
um, what the levels are. They actually don't serve any purpose anymore. They were kind of really the, the they serve the same purpose as the, the map on the right hand side initially before I kind of had the motivation to get the GUI components working. Um, I should delete them but the problem is if I delete them um, there's a little bit of script that colors them so the script will fail so it's not just a matter of delete the parts you've got to delete the parts and delete the lines out of the script as well. But anyway let's hop on up and um, check out some of the levels on this. So you'll notice that it's sliding me across this um, ladder, they call it a ladder. Um, that took a little bit to get. So this level here is called Bad Galloy. Um, and I'm going to have to hurry because I don't have a lot of time before it's going to actually be refreshed on me. And if it gets refreshed, I'm just going to fall straight down. I generally t kind of throw caution to the wind with the first level though because you know, if you fail it, what are you going to lose? You're just going to have to start at the beginning again. It's either that or you stand around waiting in the lobby and you get bored. So, you know, I just do it. Anyway, I've done it. Uh, this is another one of mine. This is Treacherous Bixer. Treacherous Bixer is quite an obnoxious level, actually. Um, and I made a mistake when I made this level in that I made the, the piece that you're walking on just so incredibly thin that it's quite unforgiving. If you make a slight mistake, you may well find yourself plummeting. Either to your death or to the bottom of the, um, the map. See? I nearly did it then. Jeez. You know what? You've got to hurry up here. You've only got 35 seconds! Oh, look. I'm going to have to go back. I don't think I can do this in 35 seconds. And do you know what? Treacherous Bixer, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. It's one of my levels, so I can rip on it as much as I like. It's it's horrible. It's actually a horrible level. So, um, yes, I think I need to make some changes. I think I need to maybe have a couple of segments where it's really, really narrow like that, but maybe not all the segments. Oh, come on. It's refreshed it with itself. All right. See, I'm just falling. Like, I'm basically... He, he, your player would, would much rather fall down than actually balance on this thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, it's again. It's the next level up as well. Oh, and it's not even... Or is it going to be the one that's refreshed? It is the one that's going to be refreshed. Let's get the heck out of here. And hopefully we'll get to see another level. Oh, it's bad Galloway again. So, all these levels are my levels. There's actually three creators of content for this game. There's me, there's Floffin, and there's Bookie Wolf123. Otherwise known as Floffin Gamer and Gemini Plays Games. So far, all the levels actually, and I didn't play the bottom level, but it's also my level, it's called. I spent the last two weeks just spinning. If you know who Gemini is, that will make sense to you. Right, here we go. This is, I spent the last two weeks just spinning. It's kind of based on the level clock, which is in the game Treacherous Tower. That was really, really lucky. I hate these trusses. Now you might ask, if you hate them so much, why did you put them in? Um, that's a good question. But I wanted to make the game hard. All right, what have we got here? The bulky, obnoxious spinning top level. So this is by Floffin. 
Oh, and it's quite hard because you can't actually see that kill book very clearly when it's yellow. Anyway, let's go. Oh, that was lucky. I haven't been doing so well at this level lately. I've been dying far ahead of my t well ahead of my time. Oh, oh look, Bartimus. Anyway, that gave you a bit of a preview of some of the levels that are in this game. Um, I'm just going to wait for the bottom level to refresh, and we'll just see what it refreshes with. There's a couple of levels that I haven't shown you yet, and I would like to if I can. We'll just see. Uh, it's Treacherous Bixer. Anyway, I'm not going to show you that, but if you want to see the levels, then you can go into Roblox and actually play this game now. It has been published. It's live. It's ready. It's willing. And it's able to take your attendance and to entertain you. Uh, hours of fun can be had when you play Treacherous Bilkies. So, check it out and um, I hope you like it. Anyway, we'll spot you again soon.